Families in the metro are adjusting to a new normal. Kids and parents home when they would normally be at school and at work. 41 Action News reporter Jordan Betts asked two local moms how they're keeping kids engaged. For many families, it was supposed to be a fun and action-packed spring break. We're just... I don't know. None of us were really prepared for this. Not anymore. They are stuck at home. For Jolene Hastings, she is doing every activity to keep her kids busy. Since we've been kind of exploring um, science kits. We have some um, like gemstone digging kits that we're going to work on. Even going on scavenger hunts around the neighborhood. The different houses have cut out a shamrock and put them up um, in their window or on their garage and it'll also be a great excuse to get some fresh air. Kids like Karen Orokio Sami's son Clark are treating this week as normal. Spring break fun. We're staying up late and we're eating whenever and we're playing all the games. But she is still making sure he is learning while school is canceled due to coronavirus. We have another like invention kit that we get to do. Hastings has this advice for you on how to keep your kids busy. It's great to be prepared with a list of things to do. Um, I've seen a lot of like color coded schedules that are very ambitious, but at the same time, I think um, that you're going to be more sane and a happier mom if you can um, just like give yourself grace and have realistic expectations. Despite the disappointment of stay at home spring break, both moms know it's for a good reason. I think there's going to be a lot of good in it. I, I hate that there's so many people sick and obviously um, we don't. We, nobody wanted this, but I think we can all look for silver linings. Jordan Betts, 41 Action News.